Hey everyone, happy Memorial Day. It's Kayak Cliff. Hey, uh, we got the paddle ski out today. And on my last video, you saw my dad and me going down the Suwannee River in Florida. And he just came up to Dallas to see us and the family. So say hi, Dad. Hey, good to see all you guys. We're, uh, we're gonna, we just put the paddle ski in. And I've never done it before, but I put the, uh, the uh, Bimini top. Uh, the sun canopy out on the uh, paddle ski and uh, you know, there's not a lot of breeze today you know stay out of the sun and uh, figure we try this out it's hard to row if you're going to do any kayak paddling with this so you know if we want to we can just fold it down and do kayak paddling but uh, we're going to head about five miles up a feeder river called Denton Creek on Lake Grapevine in Dallas Texas and we're going to just check things out it's uh, probably about five miles up and five miles back I just blew it up at home and uh, put it in the back of my pickup truck. You can blow it up on the shoreline if you want. I do that a lot as well. But uh, all I had to do is hook the wheels to it, attach the motor, and roll it on down to the ramp. So we're moving right along. Normally this thing with one person goes 16 miles an hour. I think it goes about 12 miles an hour, uh, loaded down with two six-footers. Dad's doing the invaluable navigation here. We should be deep all the way up to the Highway 377 bridge. And I'll put maps on the screen here where I'm talking about. But, uh, you know, with rivers, this, this should be navigable deep enough to get all the way up here. But with rivers, uh, with storms that come through, if you're just uh, flying through and not paying attention, there might be a log that fell down in the last storm and then you're gonna hit it, so. It's good to keep an eye out. Beaver Dam. Uh -huh. I, believe, I believe Beaver Dams. <coughs> no. They dig into the bank like that. What, what do you guys think out on, uh, you know, watching this video? When you see a hole like that on the shoreline, I've been camping before and uh, sitting around a campfire at the water's edge at night, and all of a sudden you hear a boom water splash like somebody threw a boulder past you. That happened to us once, and then we looked out, shined the light, and there was a beaver just slapping its tail, and it had come out of a hole in the shoreline that we saw. So let me know in the comments what you all think that is. Well, the cotton seeds are floating through the air, and they're all over the water here. Uh, cottonwood is blooming this time of year. So kind of see it all coating the, the water and uh, flying around. Dad, Dad up here, he's a perfect spotter. We, uh, growing up, we spent a lot of time in the boat in Florida, down in, uh, out fishing and diving and 
lobstering and going to the Keys, and uh, he knows how to read the water, so I got him up there looking to see if we hit the ground anywhere. We just stopped to look at some more possible beaver dams and uh, a couple good pieces of trash floating in the river. So, hey, I say it on all the videos, pick and paddle or pick and motor as we're doing today. Help keep our waterways clean, and if you can fill up one garbage bag, then you did something good. So, I don't know how much we'll find, but we'll pick up what's ever floating out here, or easy to get. Oh no, that's a big soda bottle. Blueberry vodka. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that, that doesn't sound good at all. Well, the river's less one blueberry vodka bottle, though. Uh, blueberry vodka bottle. <laughs> Probably some high schoolers out and uh, drinking that thing. I bet you they got a headache this morning. I have to say this uh, sun canopy works really well. You can also call them bimini tops, is what is commonly they're referred to on a boat. But um, great to stay out of the sun. Now, if you wanted to paddle, which the paddle ski is great for paddling, then you just take it and unhatch, unlitch, unsnap the front and let it fall back to the back and it folds up real nice and neat out of the way. <clears throat> but um, we also have, Dad and I also have our Shelta sun hats on and uh, sun shirts as well. I got the kayak motif on this, uh, this sun shirt, but uh, Sh Shelta hats are my favorite sun hat. Uh, they are very cool to wear. They have a rigid formed brim. They'll stay on with the chin strap up to 45 mile an hour winds without re re deforming. So check out the link in my description box. Absolutely love Shelta products. I've uh, tried lots of sun hats over the years. They're the coolest wearing, most comfortable, and uh, do as good a job as any sun hat, if not better, blocking the sun from you. So check them out. My navigators here are gonna help me through here. We got a big obstruction, and I uh, think we can get around the left side. This is fun going up these rivers, checking them out. Again, every big reservoir or lake they, that's out there, it's gonna have some type of feeder river. Some of them are only good for paddling. Other ones you can motorboat up. Reason we're doing this today is it's Saturday before Memorial Day. And I, my experience has been out on the open lakes, Saturday and Sunday is absolutely crazy. And uh, figured, yeah, we'll go back here where there isn't anything going on. And then on Monday, typically everybody gets it out of their system on uh, Saturday and Sunday. Mondays are typically better out on the open lakes, so go out there then. Okay, we're getting up to the Highway 377 bridge. And um, this is how far I definitely wanted to come, but I hear you can go a little bit further. So we're gonna see how far you can go. Lake Grapevine is at what they call pool stage, where it's basically, it's full, it's perfect. So when the lake is at pool stage or perfect, right at, you know, a foot or two above or a foot or two below, you can navigate up here no problem but uh, here's the uh, the bridge if 
I put my truck in four wheel drive, I can I've driven down here from the highway. Like that guy. Oh, bridge button in here. One's railroad. One's. Now, if you're going to kayak this off Highway 377, if you veer off and follow the railroad track, there's a dirt road that'll take you down here. And uh, in a normal SUV, you can do it a lot of the times, but if it gets pretty muddy, you want four-wheel drive. And uh, I've been down here before, and you can actually launch here if you want to do some paddling. So it's a great place to launch if you want to launch here and go north or, or go west or go east. Boy, after you pass the high, after you pass the Highway 377 bridge, it gets a little bit narrower and a heck of a lot nicer. Uh, trees hanging over the banks. This is one across. I don't know what it was. Now, if we're successful, we're going to make it to the next bridge, which is the uh, Interstate 35W coming through uh, Dallas Fort Worth, and. Uh, Again, this is a first for me. I've never been up this far, but we got some kayakers up here. They're doing a little bit of fishing. We'll slow down. Give these false reports. I can't believe how far we've made it up here. It's uh, just never been up this far. Dad says, "Why wouldn't you be surprised?" <laughs> but just never caught up here. It's amazing how far you can go up some of these rivers. Check them out on your kayak paddle trips, especially on a day if you got a windy day and it's too windy to be out on the open water. Head back to these areas. Uh, or like I said before, Memorial Day, 4th of July, any major holiday weekend, you don't want to be out with all the riffraff and all the wakes out there. Yeah, it did. Oh man, but there's a massive log jam here, uh, all cleared. But when we, when you get uh, floods and these rivers fill up, this is what happens. You get log jams and that's a, uh, it's at the bend in the river, and uh, boy, there's just a massive tree there. But water's destructive, and it, uh, it moves all types of stuff up there. I don't think heavy equipment did that, but it could have, who knows. Boy, if Lake Grapevine is at pool stage, and here's an app I'll put on the screen. It's the uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife has a fishing report app for all the lakes in Texas. And the fishing report will tell you, yep, the fishing report will tell you how the fishing is, but it also tells you the depth of the lakes. And if Lake Grapevine's at pool stage, put in at the 377 bridge, if you can get your car down there and go, west 
Yeah, we're, we've gone as far as we can go. We just uh, hit bottom, so we're gonna turn around. <laughs> So I just got out. I was in ankle deep water, but uh, I think if there's some, it's moving water here. We're going to cut off to the right of the river here. It's a little deeper and see if we can get farther. I really like to get to that 377 bridge, but uh, just got out to stretch my legs for a moment. Again, it's some beautiful river paddling if you put in at the 377 bridge and come on and go west towards I-35. That bank walk down into the, into the river. Get back with that bank washed down into the river. There was a small little cut through that we were able to get through, but we had to paddle. And I couldn't get video of it, but it was pretty hard to paddle with this top on. So when we go back, I'm gonna drop this top and then we'll paddle and uh, get two of us going and we'll be able to move like, like there's no tomorrow during through the shallow areas. Lots of great places to get out for a shore lunch if you come up this way. Or if you're so inclined, a good place to pitch a tent for the night. You get up to the top of that thing and it's pretty level. Just bring an air mattress because it's going to be a little rocky underneath you. I think the consensus is as steep as both banks are on both sides, the, uh, the water is going to be deep enough for me to get up on planes. So we might try that out. Last thing we want to do is bust a, uh, a blade on our propeller and paddle back. If we break a shear pin, we got extra shear pins though. I need to get an extra propeller though. That's a, a good safety thing for everybody to do. Make sure you have an extra prop. Well, we got, a, we got a narrow up here and it's current coming through pretty heavy. I think we've gone, I think we've gone as far as we can go. Or we wanna go. Or we, we wanna go. I got a propeller that I wanna protect here. Here's the little narrows with the current. If you were kayaking, you could get up this. Uh, that wouldn't be any trouble. But uh, I'm not gonna do that in the boat. That's, uh, I'm just asking for a bunch of trouble. But up here, there's, uh, there's a guy fishing up there. And it's, uh, you definitely could go farther with a kayak. Show you what it looks like around the bend here. Nice and deep water once you get past that uh, that little rapidy area. But uh, here's what it looks like. So, hell, if you wanted to if you wanted to pitch a tent here, this would be a perfect place to do that. Great place to come up and camp. I think I'm gonna have to make that another episode. Hey, Dad and I are back at the ramp here, and that was, let me look at my paddle logger here. Paddle logger app is great uh, for when you're paddling, and I, for, I used it for boating today. But we did uh, 7.12 miles one way, so we did over 14 miles, and um, you can go quite a bit past that 377 bridge, as you can see from that trip but thank you for coming with us really appreciate you watching it hit the subscribe button if you like this video and the notification bell for when we do new videos i certainly appreciate it and all the links for the hat and my sandal water shoes and the great sea eagle products this paddle ski and the honda all the links for that are going to be in the description box for this video and i appreciate you if you're interested in learning about them, click on my affiliate link and watch the other videos that I have in the description box of this product. 
And if you, if you choose to purchase one, click on my affiliate link. It doesn't cost you a dime. It just gets this channel a little bit back so we can keep on doing videos like this for you. So thanks guys. We'll say so long for the both of us. So, so long for both of us till next time. Yep, yep. Thank you, Dad, for mm -hmm. coming with me. It's always good to have Dad in town, and uh, we'll do more adventures like this. We're thinking about the Keys next January. So God bless to all of you, and have a great Memorial Day weekend and rest of your summer.